this is Lorena and welcome to my channel in today's video it's another balloon decoration video and this is the uh, part two of the uh, balloon decoration that I collaborate with shimmer and confetti so as you can see behind me I have a round circle backdrop here yeah so I will redecorate this again so this is my third time now uh, redecorating my circle backdrop uh, actually guys I created this circle backdrop uh, from a fridge box so we bought a huge fridge and I keep the box and I use that one as my circle backdrop so here is the fridge so that fridge is the double door that's why I have this massive box or cardboard so by the way guys I have people asking me how did this circle backdrop stand here's the stand of the backdrop because when I did the DIY how I created this circle backdrop I didn't really show how I let this backdrop stand so the stand that I've used in this backdrop is the clothes wrap so I'm going to turn around this <coughs> circle backdrop that I did so that people will ask me how this backdrop stand I have something to link the video to them so but I will remind you the front is uh, really good looking but warning or watch out the back of this backdrop is not really like looking good okay let's turn it around so that you can see how this circle backdrop like and that's the truth of this circle backdrop so I use a clothes rack on this one. That's how it looks like on the back. And then I just use zip ties. I just use zip ties like this one to tie this circle backdrop around with this clothes wrap. So yeah. So again and so now let's redecorate this circle box shop and I will show you guys what material I will be using in this uh, DIY so I will be doing a little mermaid balloon garland that shimmer and confetti sent me yes like what I said, I'm going to transform this backdrop to different uh, design. So I have different plates here. Disposable plates, party plates. So this one I got purple, blue, light blue, green. I'm needing this one and this one is called eight plastic plates 22 centimeter in diameter and i got this for two dollar each in our cheap shop here in our shop so we're needing glue sticks and then we're needing glue gun probably scissor and balloon pump needing so we're needing a balloon kit that shimmer and confetti sent me and here's the kit looks like mm -hmm. so by the way guys i have unboxing video of all these kits that shimmer and confetti sent me also i will link it in the description box as well as the unicorn balloon garland that i did Yes, so we are now on the second kit, the Little Mermaid. 
So before you're going to do the back chop, first you're going to preheat your glue gun. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to stick this plates on the back chop by using a glue gun. So I bought eight packs of this plate on different colors. So this one has eight plates in a pack. And what we're going to do is to cover this back chop with all these plates. So yeah, so we're gonna do this like that mm -hmm. yeah I think I'll use blue first I used blue first and then purple maybe two lines of blues and then two lines of purple and then pink para ombre effect so now our glue gun is already hot. So what we're gonna do, we'll put glue gun it here. That one. And stick this to the back drop. Oh. So that's our first plate. Be careful by using glue gun guys, it's really hot. So let's put this on top with each other. So make sure guys when you put the plate on, so this is the front and this is the one you're going to stick to the to the back drop. So make sure you hold the plate uh, in a few seconds and then and that's where the glue is drying. the purple lights so again you start on the middle like this one So guys, I changed my outfit because I went to the shop and bought more plates because uh, I think I don't have enough plates uh, when I did show you the materials. So here's the plates. Yeah. <laughs> and I bought glue sticks. So that's that. And I already attached the pink halfway. Now we're going to the other side of this setup. Yeah, like that. So I will let you know in the description box, guys, how many plates I used. Because at the moment, I don't know how many I'm going to use. So we'll do that after putting all these plates so 
guys, there is a gap on this side, but leave that one because the balloon garland will cover this area right here. So that doesn't matter if there is a gap on the side there. So my design, guys, is like two lines of blue, two lines of purple, two lines of pink. And then repeat the color after the this color right here, green. So yeah. So guys, we're now going to attach these green plates. We're halfway already. Yes. So guys, I suggest if you have event and if you want to copy this back chop, you set up this one like the day before the party, not like the day itself. This will cost you lots of time. So the preparation is taking forever to set up. So it's nice if you set up this the day before your party Like that, and we're nearly done. 